Hello friends, welcome to Buzzbyte. In today's video, we'll be looking at cryptocurrency market in general, and also we'll be looking at recent spurt or increase in the prices of cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can see here the prices have shot up by 2.84 percent and 5.26 percent on 24 hours period for both uh, for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So whether this is going to cont keep continuing like that or it's going to halt and revert back to its mean position that is something needs to be seen so before we deep dive into the video please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that as and when we upload a new video you should be able to get the communication so on tuesday that is yesterday the two largest cryptocurrency by market caps rose 3.3 percent and 6.7 percent over the past 24 hours BTC crossed 20,000 for the first time since October 5th, while Ethereum topped 1,500 for the first time since September 15th month. That's a big thing to happen, right? Now, whether this rally is going to continue or they are going to revert back to their mean position, that is Bitcoin to 19K or and Ethereum to around 1,300, that is something needs to be analyzed. Right now, if you look at the RSI, Bitcoin is powering at around 65 RSI. Generally, 70 is used as a benchmark for overbought conditions. So this is clearly showing that Bitcoin is near about or near to the overbought positions. If it remains at this level, of course, the prices are going to continue to go up. If it comes down from the level of 65 to 60 or 50, then we can expect the Bitcoin prices to come down. And same goes for Ethereum too. Should BTC continue to push higher, the price would elevate towards 21,500. That's what I'm expecting. And for Ethereum, it should be at around 1600. But in case they revert back to their mean position or their lower positions, which they were maintaining yet, maintaining a weeks back, it will go down to around 19,000 for BTC and for Ethereum, it could be around 1300. Now, everything depends on the volume. Today's volume, Wednesday volume, if you uh, if you see that volume will likely play a large role in determining whether this rally is going to continue or is it going to cool down. And also one of the important other uh, important indicator is that how many Bitcoin whales are moving their BTC to the exchanges because it's it has been seen that whales have been sending increasing amount of BTC to exchanges for the last 11 days. And if that continues, there could be a selling pressure on BTC and Ethereum as well as all the other cryptocurrencies. So it all needs to be seen in the light of volume as well as other economic condition which is going to pan out in the next few days. So now let's look at the volume of uh, where do we stand with regard to Bitcoin and Ethereum. If you look at the Bitcoin volume today, it is up 28.22% as compared to yesterday on 24 hour basis. Whereas if you look at the Ethereum, uh, the volume is up 34.21% uh, on a 24-hour basis, which is covered slightly better than uh, Bitcoin. So this definitely shows that there is a positive trend in the short term at least for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. The prices could continue to go higher. I'm expecting Ethereum to go up. Maybe it will cross 1600 in the short term, maybe towards 1640 or 1650. And the Bitcoin could go up to 21,000 uh, beyond. Uh, maybe it will touch 21,500 before uh, it looks for a next uh, positive Q or a negative Q. It could be the Q could come from either Fed when uh, Fed is going to meet next uh, uh, next month. Uh, that is FOMC meeting, or it could come in terms of other macroeconomic conditions, uh, etc. So. We have to look into that but for the short term it seems very positive as the volume is going up it should continue to go so now let's come down to why the crypto markets are surging especially bitcoin ethereum and other cryptocurrencies uh, i think there are rumors that uh, rumors over the outlook for the rate hikes uh, as the fed runs out of the room to maneuver after next month's hikes, suspicions are that policy will begin to take a u-turn taking smaller hikes in subsequent months before reversing altogether in 2023. The Fed could change its tune on rate hikes. Important dates that we need to remember is the upcoming forthcoming FOMC meeting, which is on uh, slated to be on November 1st or 2nd, 
where they are the fed is going to take uh, important decisions about around the rate hikes especially uh, for november they will announce it and for december they may give uh, indications as to whether they are going to increase by same 75 basis points or lower at such any signal that the fed is preparing to soften its hawkish stand is being seized by the market so every time there is uh, such cues positive cues from the fed or because of other macro economic conditions market take a chance or a market responds it in a very positive way as we are seeing it in the last two days but there are other things also that uh, is disappointing for example the recent macro economic data reveals that home prices continue to decline at an accelerating pace in august and uh, moreover the confidence index has declined to 102.5 in october from 107.8 in september which basically missed the market expectation of 105.9 market was expecting around 105.9 and it missed it by i think three uh, index points so this has also caused the us dollar index to lose more than 1% in the last few days and according to cme group fed watch tool the probability of a 50 basis point hike in december after a 75 basis point hike in november it climbs to 50% from 22% last week so there is no doubt that in november the fed is going to increase by 75 basis point but for december still whether the fed takes a very hawkish uh, stand or a uh, dovish stand that remains to be seen but the probability has gone up to 50% that uh, it will be uh, it will not be 75 basis point so this will definitely if this happens this will definitely lead to a decline in the short term and long term us treasury bond yield analysts are also saying that pull back in treasury yields and the accompanying dollar decline around the pivot narrative that we are seeing right now or the analyst are saying is going to be very favorable for the cryptocurrency market if you look at the us dollar index chart here you can see that us dollar index right now has fallen to 109.314 from all time high of 140 so and this is also especially after uh, after we have uh, the new britain uh, new prime minister of britain mr rishi sunak uh, the pound has continued to strengthen against the dollar dollar has uh, declined with respect to pound and other uh, other currencies of the world so for us dxy is uh, under pressure and uh, its descent is definitely favorable for bitcoin and all the second reason is bitcoin rising correlation with gold and also other assets which are similar to gold because bitcoin now has a correlation of with gold of about 0.50 which is up from zero in mid of august and this is clearly a very good sign for the bitcoin because uh, if the bitcoin correlation with gold goes higher that means it is it will be considered as a safe haven because gold generally is considered as a safe haven it's a store of value or a inflation hedge so if bitcoin rising correlation with gold actually means that the investors are perceiving that bitcoin could be considered uh, as an inflation hedge and that is a really a good departure if you look at this chart uh, you know if you compare with uh, 2022 earlier months of 2022 to current trend uh, right now uh, the correlation between bitcoin and gold is uh, increasing and it's almost reaching to around 0.55 and it might touch even 0.6 Right. So generally, the correlation of Bitcoin has been with SPX and QQQ, where the with SPX it generally hovers around 0.69, 0.72 with QQQ, which has decreased of late. So this is a very good sign, which basically means that the Bitcoin is decoupling in terms of the correlation with the stock market, and it is showing more of a behavior like a gold. So Bitcoin rising correlation with gold definitely indicates. Uh, that investors see it as a safe haven a decelerating correlation with spx or qqq and a rapidly rising correlation with gold indicates that investors may view bitcoin as a safe haven as macro uncertainty continues so we are not uh, we are not going to uh, see or, or rather i would say we are not uh, expecting that the macro economic conditions is going to uh, improve sooner uh, because russian uh, russia ukraine war and uh, as well as the other macro around the world is not so good right now 
so this macro uncertainty is going to continue in this kind of a, a economic uh, uncertainty and the geopolitical crisis i think uh, bitcoin is definitely going to rise uh, if not not immediately in the short term but in the medium or long term it's definitely going to shine once again and we are definitely going to see uh, a crypto bull market once again so finally where does it where does it take all of us in terms of the crypto market or investment that we are making in crypto uh, market or even in stocks my understanding is that it's right now it's all about the fed right as central banks attempt to try and control inflation they risk the blowing of the entire us economy right with the higher cost of living controlling inflation has become the topmost agenda of fed however we are approaching the tipping point where impossible choices would need to be made fed will have no choice but to go with the lesser of two evils and inflate asset prices and sacrifice fiat currency it may not happen in 2022 but we definitely can expect this to happen in late 2023 or early 2024 bank of japan in fact already has started pursuing yield curve control and sacrificing the japanese yen the bank of england has followed suit and intervened as the gilt market threatened to blow up the pension system germany is no longer running its cheap energy based surplus they may soon be forced to support the entire european bond market so we are already seeing this in other market or other countries where the where the bodies like fed or or their central reserve system is trying to control the situation for us fed really matters with the us dollar being world global reserve currency when the fed hikes they basically suck the entire liquidity out of the market not just in us but also around the world and the crisis start to unfold worrying for the fed when the us market is looking unhinged right as surpluses disappear demand for treasury is falling at the same time the fed embarks on quantitative tight so on one hand fed is trying to do the quantitative tightening on the other hand the demand for treasuries bonds are falling across the board which is a double dilemma for the fed it now feels very close to the point where fed would be forced to turn liquidity tap back on and artificially inflate collateral once more current inflation situation is delaying that moment but this delay is likely to force an even stronger response by fed when it comes or when it happens this is the ultimate long term macro story for crypto a fiat system reaching its natural end point which is currently being artificially saved by central central bank printing press but when it happens when it arrives it will set the stage for the next crypto bull market so thank you